Hello, are we live? Are we live? Uh, Tommy Crayons, hello. I know a lot of people were, a couple people were camping. Hopefully the audio is okay. Oh, audio does not look like it's, is audio working? Do you guys hear the background music? Why is it not moving? Why is my bar not moving? No background music. Can you guys hear me though? Uh, why is my audio not working? Ah, I figured it out. I think. You can hear me loud and clear, but no background music. Huh. What the? Why does my audio not? I literally did not change. Hmm. <laughs> Jazz tonight. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out the jazz. Jazz music a little loud. Is that better for jazz music? Uh, Chisu, hello. Cortez, you are not first. Sorry. Fossil Fido, hyped elite, generic 193 subnet. Jorbulas, Alec Epic 11. Heine Bush, hello. Jax Tastic, Blado Anu. Laser Beam Spring, Straw Mismo, RSR Gavin, Solid Snake Drive, hello. Tracer Glowtail, hello. Uh, Bruce Leroy 666, thank you so much for the follow. Mac McMax, hello. Sorry, Koyo, Yenji Kinchana? Audio is good now? Or the music at least. Seems a bit more cluttered today. Why is my focus so bad? What the heck? Dixie sponsor, yeah, so it's part of the channel update. You guys should be noticing something new with the sponsor banner today. Uh, oh, Jorbulus, another Korean in chat. Blank Turk, hello. Uh, what kind of tea do I have there? This is. Well, in Korean, it's Yuja Cha. I don't know if Yuja is Yuzu. What is Yuja Cha in English? Yu Cha Cha in English. Is Yuja Yuzu? No, Yuja, that, that's different, right? It 
citron tea. There we go. Citron tea. Yeah, it's citron tea. It's a Korean drink. It's not piss, guys. Uh, Hugh Lemon, thank you so much for the subscription. I also missed one more earlier. Who did I miss? Uh, Wealthy Padfield, thank you so much for the follow as well. Uh, is this a new cam? No, I'm just playing around with the lighting. Uh, I also realized the whole time this camera, the resolution was off. <laughs> yeah. It was my camera is a 1080 by 19 1920 by 1080, and I realized I shortened it, so I thought I'd try widening the view um, because it makes face cam better. How was your weekend? My weekend was pretty good. Sorry I couldn't stream this weekend, guys, but uh, yeah, took this weekend to relax, enjoyed the Valentine's as well as President's Day. Hopefully everyone had a Come on. long weekend. Uh, Pudsy, thank you so much for the follow. Cage Vapor, gotta give a shout out. You're the big reason I'm a keyboard snob. Almost grabbed the Model M today. Oof, Model Ms are nice. Roto underscore Tiller, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, what are my thoughts on the KO box pinks? I haven't received box pinks, unfortunately, so I can't say anything about it. Pudzy White Whale. <laughs> you might be surprised, Pudzy. Uh, Ham Kenobi, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. The Raging Asian, hello. Citron tea. Oh, right, I read that. Second, hello. Yuja is a different citrus. Yeah, okay. Ham Kenobi, hello. Uh, Neil Jonathan, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Not in the road, two months. Chanipa, hello. Miss Pristine, my sub ran out. Noli Han, hello. It's Undone, hello. Wild Samurai, hello. Worst Lux player, NA, hello. Have I tried the alias? Silence, I have not. The Schmitz, how was work, Nate Dog? Uh, work was pretty good. Got a lot done today at work. Cleared out my uh, dashboard of tasks to do today, so that's pretty nice. What kind of tea am I sipping on? I'm si sipping on citron tea or yuja cha in Korean. Okay, I'm pretty sure what you're unboxing. Congrats, list of options. <laughs> Thank you. If you know, you know. McMac, McMax, McMax. Do you keep the boards you did a typing demo on? Uh, not all, not all of them are mine. Oh shoot, Pudsy got wrecked. Uh, yes, I've, I've also changed my bot. Uh, Hot Tuniki, thank you so much for the uh, the sub. I, I heard, how do I, I should turn off links. Um, yeah, I, I just recently, okay, I just turned it off. Hopefully that should work. I don't know if it auto updates. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, as good as Nightbot is, and I kind of wanted to make it more personal. So I removed Nightbot and then uh, installed this bot. Uh, Gandalf the Mandalf, thank you so much for the five months in a row. Yeah, and then I named my bot Teha Teha Chopper. Oof, that bot name. <laughs> New TX announced, that's what you were linking. Okay, what did the Pudsy link? Whoa, TX is making a 75%. Dang, okay, that's interesting. And it has staggered Efro. Although not that much of a stagger, but I like it, I like it. Unbox white whale board so I can go do. <laughs> Droke? Oh yeah, I, I removed VIPs. I'm, I have to rethink how I want to do VIPs. Uh, Dazun, thank you so much for the follow. Recommendations are 100% builds. I don't know of many 100%s out there. <laughs> I mean, the mountain equals mountain comes to mind, but other than that, I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
yeah no no build stream today sorry guys if you guys were expecting a build um today is just a chill just chatting slash unboxing stream um but i, I do have builds planned though. so the builds will definitely be coming in the week Duck has never done a hundred percent. I don't think so. Well, the Blackbird isn't considered a hundred percent keyboard. Yeah, there's no hundred percent Duck keyboard, I think. What Taobao kind of tea are you drinking? Mo asked. Uh, it's a, it's called citron tea. It's a Korean tea called yuja cha. That's what I'm drinking. It's pretty good. I would recommend it, especially if you're sick. It's pretty nice. Any starter customs you would recommend? Anything from KBD fans I would recommend. Sneak Attack TV, do you use any program on your computer for your microphone? Um, I use the program, so my mic, uh, not my mic, sorry, my interface comes with a program called Total Mix. That's what I use for my sound. Um, but it, it basically just controls the interface. Yeah, I, I just use whatever came with this. I don't use any special software. Okay, eight. we are past 810. So let us start today's chat session um, so yeah let's start with uh, channel updates first so I don't know if you guys have noticed but up here my sponsors ooh, right there my sponsor banner we have a new sponsor for Teha types and that is Dixie mech ooh. I would like to welcome uh, Dixie Mech as a sponsor of this channel. Um, I have already started linking my affiliate link and uh, also discount code for Dixie Mech on all my YouTube videos as well as my uh, Twitch panels down below. Um, but yeah, so with Dixie Mech, um, if you guys use my affiliate link, uh, you guys will get 5% off. 5% off. Uh, that's a pretty, pretty big thing for Dixie Mech, I believe. Uh, M Jarkison, thank you so much for the subscription. But yeah, Dixie Mech, uh, I taught I've been talking to Garrett a lot since I started uh, really diving into the hobby, and he's always been a really nice guy. You know, Dixie, nice guy. Yeah, I mean, he's just a great person, even just off, you know, keyboard stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to have Dixie Mech on board as a sponsor. Um, if you guys don't know, he is he is planning to be more of a bigger vendor this year he's hoping to run more stuff i don't know if he'll have in stock stuff um like novel keys or zeal constantly does but yeah i mean he has a keyboard planned he has tons of key sets planned and right now he's running his uh mech madness so you guys should all go check him out um if only everything wasn't sold out on dixie yeah so i mean currently he doesn't have a lot of stuff but he uh he is planning on becoming a more present vendor Hey Mr. So, yeah. Kim, hope you had a good Valentine Day. Here are some slurps for your soul. Slurp, 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 slurp. <laughs> Holy pandas aren't great. Thank you so much for the 200 bits. Um, so yeah, Dixie Mech, 5% off. So bookmark my affiliate link down below. I think I'm the first uh, sponsoree for Dixie Mech, so that should be exciting. But yeah, excited for what products, what future products Dixie will be revealing. Um, as part of the sponsorship, I will be receiving um, his new products that he's planning on releasing. So hopefully I'll be able to give you guys a first look for all the new cool stuff that he has planned. Uh, Flybunny63, thank you so much for the two month subscription. First time liking a streamer for over a month. Thank you. Dixie, ooh, Dixie is in chat. Oh, I forgot to, I should, I should VIP a Dixie. <laughs> um, but yeah, Dixie Mech. New sponsor, nice, pretty logo up there. Um, so yeah, please do check them out. Um, what else? What other updates? Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I have changed my panels down below. Uh, well, one, okay, the first thing 
the panels I initially chose were pretty bad. <laughs> they were way too big. Um, I didn't really like the way they looked, but I just kind of set something up really fast. So yeah, I, I have currently removed the panels and also uh, added a couple more um, panels and done written some explicit rules and such, etc. Uh, I miss pristine. Oh, you were gifted. My whole pandas aren't great. Thank you so much for the gifting, Kelly. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have explicitly written some stream rules now just because uh, my chat has grown a little bit. So yeah, make sure you guys give the new panels a read. Um, I will be updating the channel, the, uh, the panels with graphics. I know it looks a little bare right now but at least it's readable. Um, so yeah, I will be, I have a channel rebranding in the works. Um, it's just taking a bit of time, but you know, I have a new logo, uh, new graphics, new overlays, emotes, uh, panels, stream overlay, all that kind of new stuff. Um, it is in the works. Ooh, we have Nick Heller in chat. Uh, Sneak Attack TV, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Um, so yeah, until then, Sorry for the lack of panel graphics, but I hopefully at least it's legible. So yeah, please do give that a read. Um, is there a way I can send you a vintage board so that you can do a typing test on? I'll pay for shipping both ways, of course. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, just PM me, McMax, McMax. I need a logo tease. Uh, I believe the logo is set. Maybe, maybe I'll tease it, I don't know. But I, I have finalized a logo design, so. Now the rest that needs to follow is just everything else. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, Alec F2, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Nick Keller, Nathan, how does it feel to be the same status as Donut Holer? What? Donut Holer has an apparently important role on Mickey's Discord? Who gave him that? Uh, sneak Attack TV, XLR from mic into interface, then USB from interface into PC. Uh, that is correct. That is my current audio setup, Sneak Attack TV. Uh, wait, did Nathan make partner? Are we still waiting to see? I still have not heard back on partner. Yeah, it. when I applied, it said it'll take around seven business days. It's been 11 business days now, and I still haven't heard back. <laughs> So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But until then, I will. I, hopefully, I can stream in full force. I did see that Doge got one. Dapper Day, hello. It's been removed. Since when was Donut Holder important? <sighs> okay. Uh, okay. This. Is... is that it for updates? Yeah, uh, another update coming as well. So I know you guys have all been asking about, uh, you know, limos and my cables and whatnot. Um, so if you guys don't know, I do have a cable command. Um, but yeah, I have updated the cable command. So I am currently working with uh, West Foxtrot, the guy who runs cable car designs. He's fairly active in the keyboard community. Uh, he ran the group by for the ANSI, has a couple more boards planned as well. I am currently in the talks with him to uh, get a discount slash affiliate code worked out with him as well. Um, yeah, a lot of you guys have been complaining about how expensive the limo is, um, but the mad the truth is that it's not that he's upcharging. A limo is just expensive in general. Um, why buy real limo when you can just buy China limo? Yeah, so he he is actually going to start providing a China limo option. It is much cheaper, I think like half the price uh shim shady thank you so much for the twitch prime sub um so yeah he um he is finding a source for cheaper limos i think he said he found one that's like 30 or 20 euros i think or usd i forget but it's significantly cheaper than a the limos i have but it should function and look pretty much the same um, but yeah, I am currently working out a discount code for my viewers as well. So if you guys are interested in getting these nice high-end cables, hold off on buying um, buying from 
cable car designs because I, I am working out a, uh, a discount code. Okay, so that is that is all the updates I have. What should I unbox first? I have a, I have a lot of stuff to unbox today. Shim Shady, Taya types. What did you do this Valentine's Day? Well, on Valentine's Day, I went to work. Yeah, I went to work, and then my uh, my girlfriend came to visit me. But she came at like 11 p.m. so we didn't do anything on Valentine's Day. How was everyone else's Valentine's Day? Any exciting dates? Dinners? <laughs> okay, I'll go, I'll go small to big. Pudsy's trying to leave my stream. I'm going to hold Pudsy until the very end. <laughs> Let's start with artisans first. We'll go, we'll go smallest uh, in just physical size and then go all the way to the biggest. I had a pretty exciting one with my PC. Pretty one-sided feels bad. <laughs> I took a fat dump and clogged my toilet. Nice, not other Andrew. <laughs> Buzzy specifically, specifically I am leaving because of that. <laughs> Stick the artisan up your butt. Maybe. Maybe. Am I going to join GMK Mizu? Uh, I probably won't join GMK Mizu. I just have too many GMK sets right now. Dixie Mac, you are going to head to bed. I've got to leave my house for work at 5.30. Glad to be on board. Have a great night, Mr. Dixie Mac. Excited to work with you as well. Okay. So, the f we only have one artisan to unbox today. It is from Keyforge. <sighs> have I tried any speed switches? And if so, do you think they have lower sound than their regular counterparts? Um, I don't have too much experience with speed switches. So I don't really know. I don't think they feel amazing or better in any sense. I wouldn't really recommend them either. Yeah. But look at this. So this is the Blood Seal Molder V3. Oof. Look at this detailing. So I have the V2. I thought the V2 was... Eh? The V3 is nice though. There's the Keyforge logo right there. Oof. Yeah, there's tons of detail. Ooh, and then the Keyforge logo again inside. This is pretty nice. Chat and Tia types. Anyone know of any desk large silicone backed mouse pads? I don't know about silicone backed. Last day at UPS tomorrow, fell asleep for an hour or two, so I'll stay up for some of this. Oof. Lick the stem, the Asian agent says. Sell for 200. Yikes. I saw I saw that post. What was the... Uh, how did that post turn out? Did he end up selling it for 200? Did someone buy it? When it's on the board, you'll never see that detail. True. You'll never see the back. Are you that guy who tried to flip this cap? No, it's not me. I swear it's not me. Nick Keller, I knew there was a reason why I didn't like you. I worked for a FedEx ride by UPS. The drivers were assholes. <laughs> uh, someone asked me to lick this. I have christened a blood seal molder V3. And I have finally filled up my... Ta -da! Oh, there's my V2. Let's compare V2 to V3. There's a pretty big jump in like what he added here. 
B2 looks pretty like bland compared to all this stuff that's on the V3. This rose, or I don't know what flower this is, is pretty nice too. Pretty nice. But yeah, there's a pretty big difference. I can see why people uh, seek after the V3 a lot more than the V2. Can I baptize my firstborn in your saliva? I don't know if the church will allow that <laughs> or accept that as a baptism. <laughs> okay. First unboxing. <sighs> Megaforce, thank you so much for the six months in a row. I'm here to slurp. Getting your artisan licked by NK instantly adds like 250 to the value. I wish that was the case. If that was the case, I would honestly donate half of it back to the uh, artisan designer. If someone can flip an artisan with that statement and that extra price tag, that'd be pretty amazing. Where do I get the GMK Mizu? I don't even know if it's live PP Munch, but if it goes live, um, probably Geekak. I, I haven't been keeping up with Mizu, so not sure yet. <laughs> it's not worth anything unless it's been through his digestive system. <laughs> uh, holy pen. Oh shoot, why? Oh, I, I didn't mean to remove the slurp command. Um, I, I haven't, tr I literally installed this new bot. So I haven't been able to transfer all the commands yet. I just transferred the important ones first. <laughs> Why are artisans expensive? They're only expensive in the aftermarket. I, don't, I think for a retail price, artisans are pretty fair. But it's the aftermarket price that, uh, that shoots up. I haven't watched a bit, I'm guessing the caps on the salamander are OG cherry dice subs. Yes, that is correct. Okay, second thing to unbuff. Can anyone guess what this is? I don't really believe in customs. The artificial manufacturer scarcity and false exclusivity Honestly, in the top three or four cringiest things out of all my hobbies combined. Uh, Nick Heller, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Unbox DN. Zekin, one kilogram, 205 grade zero. Wild card, white whale. Something vintage. Tabs back in, are we there yet? No, we just finished the uh, artisan unboxing, buddy. This is item number two. I have like four more things to unbox until the white whale. Do I have any clacks? I wish I had a clacks. I do not have any clacks. <laughs> uh, Zekin was close. Zekin was close. Oof. Oh, it's kind of... Watch. Yes, you... It feels a little slippery, but what is this? One kill. I actually don't remember how much this is, <laughs> but oh, okay. It has some fancy uh, top cover. Is that all 205 grade zero? That is correct. Oh my. This is all 205 grade zero here, boys and girls. Um, yeah, I did a bulk order from Krellbit. Um, he does not allow many people to um, bulk order 205 like this. 
but uh, being being a VIP of Krellbit SwitchMod.net, um, he has allowed me to purchase a large bulk quantity like this. So yeah, um, I think I'm down to one vial, one or two vials of the little tiny vials I've been using on stream. So I needed to refresh. Um, I go through a lot of 205. So yeah, I decided to do this. Um, don't ask me to get lube from me. I won't. I'm not gonna flip discounted lube I get from Krellbit. Um, and don't ask me how you can get a bulk order from Krellbit. He most likely will reject you. But yeah, 205 grade zero. I got tons of it now. We'll see how long this lasts. I think I could finish this before the end of the year. I, s I started streaming July of last year. And I started out with 20 vials of 205 grade zero. So I'm down to one vial. So I, I think I could finish this before the end of the year too. Yeah, so we'll see. But yes, we have... Bills won't be stopped because I don't have 205 grade zero. <laughs> Damn you Nathan for taking all the 205 grade zero. I believe he was packing some, right? He was packing some. Tommy Crayons, if you don't eat it before finish before the end of the year, you should eat it? Oh gosh. Did I sh already show the desk mats? Uh, not yet, I have not shown the desk mats. Okay, that was item number two. Moving on to item number three. We have a special gift. So this was actually Use this wisely, a gift for you. It was actually gifted to me. Can you guys guess who gifted? If you can guess who gifted this, I will send you this gift. I lied, I won't. But who, who, can you guys guess who gifted this to me? I had to, <laughs> freaking Nick Keller. <laughs> yeah, Nick Keller's right. Uh, Heine actually gifted, the, gifted this to me. Um, yeah, he wrote his first name, so I had to cross it out. But Heine and I are on a first name basis, guys. Heine's Bush. Yeah, but th thank you so much, Heine, for, uh... Yeah, he just kind of bought it for me, and then it just showed up at my door. And, uh, yeah, he gifted me these Weehaw bits. He couldn't stand the fact that I was using, um, Nanch bits. So I'm, I'm excited to see how how much better these Weeha bits really are. I know um <laughs> Can I not just pull this tab? Yeah Hi Heine uses Weeha a lot and he raves about Weeha and I know a couple other people use Weeha as well. I know like Amnesia has a bunch of Weeha bits I think Quantric also has Weeha. Uh, they're also significantly more expensive than like a Nash set. Ooh, like that. Mm, what? Why does this... Oh, is this so like you can like... Ah, I see. That's why. I was like, what the? What is this? It's like just rotating. Um... It's got a good heft to it. The, the, what is this called? The shaft feels pretty plasticky. I was hoping it was an all metal construction, but not bad. Yeah, I, supposedly the bits on Weehaws are a lot better. Close up, please. Um, so this is the first screwdriver I pulled out. Heine actually gifted me... Okay, so this is what this kit comes with. Slotted and Phillips heads. And then this one includes the hex bits. You can 
push that into the palm of your hand. Yeah, yeah I just realized. Uh, Womp30, what's wrong with Nanch? There's nothing wrong with the Nanch. I mean, I've used the Nanch since I've been in the hobby. Well, like, if you've watched me use it, there are times when I'd unscrew or screw something and then, like, the bit would be stuck to the screw and then I would have to, like, fuss about to pull the screw out. Um, I'm guessing... Ooh, whoa, okay. I'm guessing with Weeha that happens less. Look at this. So like the tip is like even skinnier than the actual... I don't even know what the term is. Are, is, are there like engineering term? I guess this is the handle. What is this? Is this considered the shaft? And then is this the bit right here? But yeah. I mean, I've worked with Heine on two boards, not worked, but um, Heine helped with the meme and I played around with Heine's uh, HBCP and both times I struggled with the Nanch bit. The Nanch screwdrivers because um, supposedly they weren't great according to Heine and Heine always said he had no trouble with his Weeha bits. So I'm guessing the Weeha bits are cut more precisely, or I guess, are these CNC'd? I guess they're CNC'd more precisely than the Nash bits are. Uh, yeah. So pretty excited for the Hex bits TBH. I mean, Phillips heads, I haven't really had an issue with. It's usually the Hex bits that give me trouble. So yeah. Oof. Weeha. Made in... Germany. German engineering. This is the pinnacle of screwdrivers. I just popped in and now I must go have a good stream. One Lockhoon one. Thank you so much for stopping by. Ered Eredius? Eredius? That's usually because the screws are cheap TBH. Yeah, I mean the screws themselves weren't great quality, but Heine always said he had no issue with it. But for me, I have struggled with the Nanch bit sometimes. I mean, the Nanch gets the job done, but I have to struggle sometimes. Uh, Juanera Millie, hello! Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Handle the shaft. <laughs> with tips are machined well and the steel is better quality. Weeha tips are machined well and the steel is better quality. Yeah, so I mean, I, I have heard that. I'm guessing that's why Weeha is widely regarded by a lot of uh, people who do handiworks and etc. Pretty excited to start using these on my streams. The one issue I have now is, can you use this as like the case? Yeah, I guess that works. Like I've seen like a little set where you can, where it just holds all the screwdrivers just like hanging, like like what you would see in like a science lab with like vials of tubes. So yeah, I gotta get one of those now. If you guys have any recommendations for a nice uh, storage solution for Weeha screwdrivers, let me know. PM me or link me. I made a small thing out of wood. Okay, what was linked? Ooh, what the? Let me show what I'm seeing. Oh, my chrome is not being detected. Why is that so? Why is this 300 bucks? Hello? Three hundred bucks. Is that? I'm guessing that includes those screwdrivers, right? 
It's not 300 bucks just for that little steel thing that's holding this. Like, it includes all these bits, right? Okay, yeah, it includes the driver. If it wasn't, if it didn't include the drivers and just this high quality metal stand with 300, I would have, I would have flipped something. But it's too much. That's too much, man. Too much, man. That's too much money on just screwdriver bits. Uh, where do you get your keyboard plates from? It comes with my keyboards. <laughs> um, I don't generally build universal builds, I guess. I joined Geek Group Buys for boards, and those tend to come with keyboards plates. Um, but if you had to find plates, I would say KBD fans or Laser Boost, I guess. <laughs> Made in Germany. <laughs> GMK pricing. Okay, Heine Bush just linked me something else. Ooh. Okay, let's see what he linked. Twenty-eight fifty. Mmm, I like this one. I like this. Ooh. I will buy this. Made out of 6061 aluminum tumble finish. Ooh, I like. Holds up to 25? Okay, that's way more than I need. I like this. I like this. Okay, I will I will take a look at this. Hi, thank you. I've heard the same sentences about keyboards, yeah, too expensive. Uh, Iradius, Iridius, Iradius, 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 Dose, Deuce, uh, because Weeha knows people will pay the premium, usually companies, not individuals. I see. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to try them out. Uh, I will probably use it starting it this week. We'll see if I have any struggles um, opening boards up with them. Yeah, oh, I like I like that it clips back on. See, I could just store it like this. Mm, not bad. Not bad. Talk to some three D print boys. Oh, I should actually do that. My uh, my cubicle mate at work has a three D printer. So I have asked him to 3D print me some stuff from time to time, so I'll see, we'll see. What are your favorite iPhone apps? Mm, I don't really have it. I just pretty much use my phone for social media nowadays. I don't really play games or do a lot of stuff. Yeah, I don't, I, uh, I don't really use much other than the standard uh, social media apps. Tom Bowen. For linear, which one is most silent? Helios or MX Xilent? I, I might say that the MX Xilent is a bit quieter. I haven't done a scientific exact difference I don't have a loose MX Xylent with me anymore, but I, I would argue that the MX Xylent might be quieter slightly because the rubber is uh, squishier. I would I would assume that might produce a quieter sound. I could be wrong though. Hundred million new sponsor. Yeah, I, that was the first thing announced on stream. Uh, Dixie Mech is a sponsor. I have linked him in the panel down below um, so yeah Dixie Mech is a sponsor Dixie is planning a lot of new cool and awesome products so I'll be helping him uh, spread the word um, and we're using my affiliate link you also get 5% off so that should be exciting but yeah Dixie Mech has become a sponsor of Teha Types so yeah as he releases new key sets uh, and keyboards use my affiliate link what are you drinking there? I am drinking citron tea. 
or Yuja Chan Korean. Is there anything wrong with your old screwdriver set or did you just w want to try a new one? I didn't buy this BKHH. Uh, Heine Bush, if you don't know who he is, he makes PCBs as well as helps design and make keyboards. He uh, actually gifted this to me. Yeah. Because he's just a nice, great guy. He seems like a cool dude. Met him in Houston last year. Yeah. Uh, I haven't met Garrett in person, but yeah, I mean, all my interactions with him have been pretty nice and awesome. And he's just he's just a really nice guy, even online, so yeah. I am I'm proud to have Dixie Mech as a sponsor. Uh, when you got your creams, which is how smooth were they? Mine seemed really scratchy powdery. I would say mine were pretty smooth out of the box. Mast the mastermind. When you say MX Xylent, do people mean Cherry MX Xylent or ZOPC Xylent? MX Xylent is a Frankenstein switch of a Zeo switch housing with a Cherry MX Silent stem. That is a MX Xylent. Uh, whale unboxing soon. I have one more item to unbox and then I'll get to the wheel. My creams aren't great either, Nick Heller says. Oh, that's interesting. All the creams that I have felt, both pre-production and production model, I would say have felt pretty good. I don't know, that, I, I guess that might be something to uh, talk to Mike about. Oh, oh my gosh, my uh, autofocus is going crazy. Okay, music is a little loud. I am sorry. I think it's just the song is a little loud. I lowered the music a little bit. Let me know if it's uh, still loud. <laughs> In Sovereign, hello. Ooh, Lark Carp's also here as well, hello. Okay, next in the unboxing, we have some Olivia desk mats. Is Olivia in chat? I haven't seen Olivia in chat in a long time. Okay, which one should I unbox first? Is the music still loud? Perp. Unbox from a bag, GG. Which one should I unbag? Bottom one, okay. I will start with the bottom one first. Um, okay, so I mean, this uh, bag I have received from GMK Camping as well. It's a pretty nice bag. I like this uh, desk mat bag. I know Zekin always used to make fun of me saying, why do you put it back in the bag? <laughs> but uh, the bag is, has been pretty durable so far. And I, I like this bag. Um, pretty great for storage. There's actually a ton of space in the bag. Um, it's not like a sleeping bag where you have to like roll it really tightly and then shove it in a small bag. Um, you can still like loosely roll the, sleep, the desk mat up and then it should fit in the it should fit in the hole no problem. But yeah. Oof. Look at this. Ta -da! The Olivia Desk Mat. I didn't join in for this when the group I ran. I wasn't big into desk mats then, but I'm like slowly getting into desk mats. Yeah, I can see the appeal of them. But now I'm starting to wonder like if I start collecting desk mats, how am I going to store them? Um, and then also just for videos sake on my YouTube channel. I've been pretty much only been using the, the GMK camping desk mat as of lately and it gets a little boring so I, I think I should start investing in some desk mats to uh, 
you know, just change up the backgrounds for my videos. That's huge. Uh, this is just a 900 by 400 decimal. It's the same size as my black one underneath. But yeah, 900 by 400. That's a big ass mat. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Mr. Petrov, you want me to lick it? How many desk mats do I have now? So I have this black one. I have the two Olivia's. I have GMK camping. I have that uh, the brown cherry spec sheet desk mat and then the Rama canvas. So I have six desk mats. You should do desk mat reviews. Uh, I mean, is there a point to making desk mat reviews? Novel Keys is pretty much dominating the desk mat scene right now. And as far as I know, the material is the same, right? Um, so I would just be reviewing the design of the desk mat, but I don't know if I should... Well, I mean, do you guys want to hear me talk about that? <laughs> how, how many keyboard for scale? I have way more keyboards than... Oh, how many keyboards in terms of width? Okay, so this is a TKL keyboard, uh, so it's probably like 14 inches-ish wide. So there's one TKL. Two TKLs. It's like two and a half TKL wide. And then it's a little over one TKL wide. Akira Bagheera, <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. I love hearing you talk about desk mats. <laughs> Change your desk mat every month or so. The Hixer Fixer 725 says, I've been trying to alternate Desk. I'm gonna try to alternate desk mats so that every week you see a different desk mat. I think I think I'm gonna try that. I'll, I'll see how annoying that gets, but we'll see. How many Hueys is the desk mat? Well, so a Huey isn't a very scientific measurement. It varies on your uh, hand, but I guess for reference, one Huey for Nathan. Okay, it goes from the end of the TKL right up to the end of the right spacebar. So that's that's reference for you. One Huey for Nathan is that. From the end of the right spacebar to the end of the TKL. So it's one Huey, two Hueys, three Hueys. Four, it's like four, four and a third Hueys away. Um, so yeah, I, I think the only other keyboard person who makes desk mats other than novel keys right now is Mass Drop and Rama. So yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like there isn't much to talk about in a desk mat uh, yet, at least. I, I, I do think def desk mats are here to stay and they've been getting pretty popular uh, last year as of late so yeah excited to see what new desk mats come out uh, Dixie has mats zap zap cables has mats I did not know that okay I, I am sorry Dixie mech and zap cables also has desk mats huh may maybe I c Dixies are from novel keys okay there you go so it's all from novel keys <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, there there isn't much to review because most of them are from Novel Keys. But I, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to share, but I know other vendors slash people are looking to make their own desk mats. So yeah, I, I, there, are, there will definitely be more desk mats coming out in the future. Um, I don't know. Would you guys be interested in a NK desk mat? Where it has like it's an NK themed desk mat, or maybe it might just have my new logo in the middle. Come on. Miss <laughs> Pristine says no thanks. 
Wide Hard Pepega. Thank you so much for the follow. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Joke says no thanks. I, I don't think I would make it Mr. Sleeve's color. That's a little too out there, but yeah. Will you be my desk mat? <laughs> sure thing, Lark Carps. Okay, so this is desk mat number one. Uh, actually, I should leave this out. I should leave this out. What am I doing? Okay, so this is desk mat number one. And this is desk mat number two. I, I also like. Actually, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like or dislike the fact that. Uh, designers release two designs, two or more designs per key set. I like the fact that I have options, but I also dislike the fact that I have options because it makes me want to buy multiple things. Uh, Angry Val Hunt, Val, thank you so much for the follow. Keep it classy and I'm in, okay. Where the hell is Beast Troll MC? Isn't he streaming right now? Once I went desk mat, I never looked back. Yeah, I don't- I mean, I'm a trackball user. Some internet people have been asking me or commenting on my YouTube videos. Oh lo, he uses a trackball, why does he have a desk mat? It's nice though, like, it adds some- I mean, I don't type this far. It adds cushioning, it's a lot more comfortable to type on a desk mat than on your actual desk with your elbows so I mean I think that's a legitimate reason to have desk mats um, I need them for my typing tests because um, I I usually at least double layer desk mats for my typing videos so it helps with uh, reducing the base um, I, I, I mean even for just forum and aesthetics point of view I think desk mats are fine even though I'm a trackball user Trackball users are Omega Alpha. NK getting freaking trolled. It also helps us. Yeah, it helps us sound a lot. Uh, jam, make a desk look less boring. Those are probably the same people that use Razer products, and it's better for your mouse. Tell them to trackball. <laughs> do you need car mats? Why do you need car mats? Yes, but why I have my mouse mat mouse pad hang over the sharp edge of my desk for my wrist. Oh, so you you are typing like this. Yeah, so at home. I mean, my desk is huge. I normally sit straight up. I mean, this is probably bad ergonomics, but I usually have my hands like this and then I type. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not usually on the edge of my table, but I'm actually more on the table. But yeah. Um, okay, so there we go. The two, two GMK Olivia desk mats. I, I think I like this one better too. The light, the lighter one. This one looks nice too, but I like that it's pink. I like the pink. Note, card games like Magic the Gathering have playmats that work great for math for desks too. Oh, okay, that's cool. I've, I've never seen a Magic the Gathering playmat. Are there like Yu-Gi-Oh playmats or like Pokemon playmats? Mint Sauce 616524, hello. Those are actually straight, the pattern I mean. So that's nice. Uh, Mint Sauce, thank you so much for the follow. What do you mean uh, they're straight, Juan and Millie? Are there desk mats with patterns that aren't straight? <laughs> like does the pattern start like sloping down? Is that what you mean? I, I, I mean, I don't have much. I don't have many desk mats, so... There are desk mats that do that. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I see Kitsune, hello. Managing correct ergonomics is hard. You're telling me I'm not supposed to rest my wrist on my wrist rest when I'm typing. <laughs> 
Is that the is that matte pink the same as the GMK Olivia accent pink? Quite different. Uh, I can check that for you. Uh, I'm not sure how. Sony Color Science not quite there yet. So okay, it's pretty. It's different for sure. It is, it is definitely different. Um, I also have like purple lights on in my room, so... Uh, Pudsy, I will be unboxing the whale after this. So don't leave. This is the last thing before the whale. Yeah, don't trust my color science. But it is definitely not the same pink. <laughs> uh, I'm... I I mean the Mac, the matte could honestly not even pass as pink. It could pass as like a, it could pass almost as like a gray pink, or like a, a warm toned pink, or gray almost. Very different. Mog genius, did I show the white whale? No, I haven't. Dang, everyone wants to see the white whale. What could I mean by white whale though? What if it's not what you guys are thinking of? Put your keycap in the sun for a week. <laughs> Invisibility, what's a white whale? See, that's the question. What if, what if I obtained a pet whale? this up and then unbox the white wheel what you guys have all been waiting for <laughs> whaling is illegal oh you right well I don't know maybe just kidding Shows a dead whale. <laughs> Omega lol. Yeah, so see, this is. I haven't really tightly rolled the mat, but uh. The sleeve still takes it pretty far. I guess that was a little too loose. <laughs> That's how kids happen. <laughs> Maybe I was too optimistic. Needs to do. thinks the whale is a legitimate whale or who thinks it's something else is it a sperm whale but is it white I think you're a whale. Plushy whale. It's Pikachu. I think it's more drivers from I. Remsky R1 whale or R2? I believe it's my ex-girlfriend. Yikes. Come on. Uh, Leon Tight, thank you so much for the follow. 
Let's have a guest talk about it with you. Whales, a 15U keycap. Killer whale, a set of browns. This is not the whale. Big box. Are you going to reel you up and gaining weight, GG? Um, it almost fills up my. Uh... Can I? <laughs> Actual dead whale. <laughs> it's an HHKP Pro 2. What if there's an actual whale in here? Another S7 elephant. Oof. Look at this, boys and girls. If you guys know anything about me, one fact about me is that a beam spring has been a grail of mine for a very long time and I finally got one. <laughs> Some people are mad it's not a Lin whale I'm guessing. <laughs> now that's what I call portable, that sound, it gross, more like the moon, it looks like one of those. What? What in a movie? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, Zach can have a good night. Sorry I disappointed you. Uh, does it solenoid? So this is an IBM display writer. Um, it actually, I believe, is one of the few beam springs that didn't come with a solenoid. So I will have to install one. And I do have one to install. Um, I just need to figure out a way to mount it. I gotta figure out a way to uh, mount it and then it 
Is this the one that was recently on eBay? I actually got this off Mech Market. Uh, someone was selling one on Mech Market. <laughs> By Putsy. Sorry, sorry it wasn't a Lin Whale if that's what you were expecting. I wish I had a Lin Whale. I, I had one in the works. I had a deal worked out for one for group by pricing and then uh, it fell through. It fell through unfortunately. BKHH, how much did I get it for? It cost a lot, but I think I got it for a decent price considering the current prices of Bean Springs. I, I personally don't see Beam Spring prices going down anymore, to be honest. So yeah, I paid a hefty sum for this, but I, I have liquidated some of my stuff, unfortunately. Did I pay less than the list price? Uh, he gave me a slight discount because he knew who I was. He gave me a slight discount. They won't go down, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gu I'm guessing the same thing. I don't see Beam Spring prices going down. Um, if it does go down, I don't see it going down much. Um, I would say it might go down a couple hundred, but I don't see it going down below their current market price by a big margin. So yeah. Two weeks ago, someone sold t two display riders for a hundred, no joke. Mog, why didn't you tell me? You gotta tell me. <laughs> I wouldn't have bought this then. <laughs> you gotta tell me, Mog. <laughs> Mog, you gotta let me know when those happen. 100 for both? Mog, I thought you were my friend. Why didn't you tell me? Um, but yeah, I did get this off Mech Market. Uh, look at this beast. Ooh, I can't even show it on screen. This is the back. Side view, front view. Uh, I mean, I mean, the case isn't perfect, but uh, it's not. And this is acceptable condition for me for a beam spring. Um, I'd say it looks pretty good. Um, there might be, there are definitely better beam springs in better condition. Um, I do have to restore this. So, oh yeah. Also, look, at, look at this cable. What? What is this? Look at this. This is insane. Um, I I do have to restore this. I was told um, there. I would have. I'm probably gonna have to de-rust the whatever it is inside the switch. I also need to cut some new foam. Um, he did clean the caps as well as the case. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get it a little bit cleaner. I mean, the, the caps and the case are pretty fine, honestly. There's this like white mark here. You're probably gonna need it, whatever. But uh, what year is this? How do you check the year for a display writer? Ah, I have figured it out. Does that tell you anything about the year? This was made in Canada? What? In Texas, people drive big trucks in the Bay Area. It looks like they type on big keyboards. There's a tag with us. Oh, so I'm gonna have to open this. I won't open it today. I don't know what I'm gonna unravel inside. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I do need to restore it a little bit. I've heard restoring the switches is the most annoying part. So I will have to do that. Um, I do need to find an X what's it controller as well and convert it. Um, but yeah, pretty excited to do so. I've never restored one. Uh, list of options. Let me know if you want to know how to restore it. I can help. Ooh, definitely. <laughs> I will need as much help as I can get on restoring this. Um, but the nice thing is I can make a nice video out of it. I don't think I've seen many or at all actually videos of someone restoring a beam spring. 
So I hope to record my journey restoring this, film it as best as I can. Um, yeah, and hopefully it works. Uh, Talisman Solutions, hello. Um, I, each key does click, so that's pretty cool. Um, and there's something cool about this. I had never seen this before. So the lock key, you press it, it locks. But pressing, it's not like an Alps lock key or a cherry lock key where repressing it makes it come back up. The only way to release it is with a shift key that unlocks it. So you press it once, it locks. You can't unlock it by itself. And then the shift key unlocks it. That's pretty cool. I don't know if all display writers are like this. I don't know if this is just a display writer thing or if it's a beam spring uh, specific thing. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm I'm gonna need to like take pictures of all this as I go so I know how to reinstall. I'm guessing it's done through wires underneath. Um, the locking mechanism is really annoying by the way. All display writers have lock keys. Yeah, hopefully someone has documented how to reassemble it back together after I disassemble it. But uh, yeah, I'm, this, is, this has been a grail for me for a long time. Finally got my hands on one, pretty excited. Hopefully I can get it to work and in usable condition. But I mean, I don't know how bad the switches are. But typing wise, it feels nice. Uh, yes, but why? Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Congrats on the grill. Thank you. Uh, sent you my 5251 rebuild log. Oof. Okay, I will take a look at it afterwards. Beamer Def Grill. Yeah, I mean, so I was hoping to get a either a 5251 or a uh, 3278 mini. Um, I, I don't see decent prices for those happening anytime soon so I jumped in on this I I sold some key sets and keyboards for this but customs will be around stuff like this coming becoming harder to find every day just gotta relieve the steps uh, how hard are these to come by nerdy asks they're not actually hard to come by but they're expensive <laughs> Um, a decent conditions one on eBay, the market price right now, probably at least 1.5k, I would say, for a 5251. Maybe even higher, I don't know, I haven't been really following the prices lately. Just because I can't afford the current market price. Um, I, I believe the display writer is a little bit cheaper. I do think the 5251 looks nicer with the uh, black and grey caps. So this this does go for cheaper, I believe, but yeah, beam springs are expensive. Uh, Juan and Emily, any word on the partnership? I still have not heard back. It's been 11 business days. They said it takes around 7 business days, but uh, they haven't gotten back to me yet. Where should I PM you, by the way? Uh, yeah, Discord works fine. But uh, these keycaps are pretty cool too. They're in pretty nice condition, I would say. Um, the only part that's really scraping off is this reply key up here. You can see the R and the P kind of scraped off. But otherwise, it has all these cool side legends. Um, and the rest of the legends look to be in fantastic condition. That is pretty neat. Best wishes on that. Thank you. Yeah, hopefully. By the way, got my hands back on those palms you asked me about. Ooh, yes, I see Kitsune. I, I will PM you afterwards. Okay, this keyboard does not work currently, but let's do a short typing test. one Huey away right now. I gotta pause my music. Man, look at how thick this cable is. It's not plugged in. I'm just blind typing. 
I like your glasses. Thank you, flour tortilla. Uh, careful removing the caps lock. The caps rock them top to bottom like they're noting buoys. I want to come off. One 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 minus one 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 equals zero. Okay. Keys, not the space bar. 243. You need to add in all that 205 you just got in that space bar. <laughs> a lot of space bar rattle. Yeah, I mean, to be expected from a vintage board like this. But yeah, I mean, each every key clicks. Um, it feels great to be honest. It's, it's not full, it's not even restored. And I, mean, I would use this as is, but for the sake of preserving the board, I will restore it. I'm going to type without the space bar. Sounds good. Lube the ever loving crap out of the spacebar stab, by the way. <laughs> Add the white noise of room sized air conditioning units now. The all now you know the know why us ulcers have profound hearing loss. <laughs> Should I take out the elephant for comparison? The customer still has not picked up the elephant. Sounds so full, yeah. Elephant versus whale. Uh, Wichita, hundred. Thank you so much for the hundred bits. First time catching the stream, and it's when I'm trying to get, when it's when I'm getting ready to go to work. <laughs> thank you. Uh, not even solenoid. Uh, so the display writer doesn't come with one, so I have to install my own. But uh, they they were actually kind enough to throw in a, a solenoid for me. Yeah, the elephant looked huge when you built it. What is it like compared to this? Let me, let me bring out the elephant. Oof, okay, so for reference, I have the case lined up by the right edge. The beam spring is already bigger than the entire case of the S7 Elephant. 
by what's a good way to measure bird speeds oof it's like a little over one bird speeds over the case Come on. Uh, Frontis97, thank you so much for the follow. So this is an HHKB for... Have it lined up. I could honestly. Is it is our two HHK? Oh, it is longer. So I have two HHKBs right now, and it's lined up to the leftmost edge. Look at that. I, I'm hoping you guys know what a standard chapstick length is roughly. That's how big this is. You can so fit the elephant inside the whale, you definitely can. <laughs> there you go. Two HHKBs, just slightly longer than this. S7 elephant. I have it lined up to the left edge. Oof, and then I can I can almost perfectly fit the length, the width of an HHKB after the S7 elephant. <laughs> what angle is it? Joke says, I don't know what angle this is, probably something insane. Talisman Solutions NK, get a second one for your split keyboard setup. You know, I would honestly not mind getting a second beam spring. If it's a 5251 or a 3278 or a 3277, I just can't afford one. <laughs> if I can afford one, I would love to get. I would love to own multiple beam springs and restore them. Um, yeah. I, I know I say I don't like to keep multiples of each keyboard, but a beam spring is a keyboard that if I could own multiple of, I would. But way too expensive. <laughs> Just get rid of your drugs. Okay, let's see. How, let's see the sound. Oh, wait. sound difference. Again, okay. So this is, uh, you guys know this. This is uh, maybe not the best. This is a stock Pro One that has it has Silence X rings installed, but it's not lubed. Okay. Troll MC in chat. Someone was looking for you today. Yeah, no, no build stream today to Beast Troll, but I have obtained one of my Grail keyboards. It's a vintage keyboard. It's a uh, IBM Display Writer Beam Spring keyboard. Let me provide you with a uh, quick typing test. Yeah, this is a Grail keyboard of mine that I managed to obtain. Yeah, look at this keyboard. It's an absolute unit. Um, 
So I, so I have to restore this and also convert it because it uses some jank old uh, port, I guess. Um, and then what? another thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna install a solenoid inside this case. And it's based, a solenoid is basically like a, a battering ram. And this battering ram is just gonna be banging it against this case every time I press a key. Yeah, so um, there are different models of this and they actually come with these installed. This particular model that I found is the only one that doesn't come with it installed for some reason. But yeah, here we go. Base bar is pretty ass though. Can you imagine playing Osu with this? I don't even know how he's I don't even know how Beast Troll spams his fingers so much, but sound wise, do you like them compared to Blue Alps? I do. I th I think Beam Springs I, I'm not a big fan of loud clicky boards, but Beam Spring, one of the switches I can tolerate and actually enjoy. Uh, I, I think Beam Springs sound really nice. Uh, Beast Troll MC, yo, with lube boards, how often will they need to be re -lubed? Um, Depending on what you use. Oh, I should. Uh, depending on what you use and how you lube it, with most, with a decent job of lubing with a decent lube, hopefully never. <laughs> um, but. If it's if you're using something extremely thin, um, you might want to relube it uh, at least at least every I don't know I would say five years. Like if you so you can have thin lubes, you can have thick lubes. Uh, thinner lubes tend to slide off more easily. Um, I I have a couple boards that I've lubed with thin lube. About two years ago, I haven't felt the need to re-lube it. Um, there, I mean, so lubing itself is kind of a new thing um, that people are experimenting with. People have made lubes specifically for keyboards. Um, so it hasn't been long enough for people to tell, but uh, I, actually, I actually unboxed some lube today. <laughs> I got a whole tub of lube. Um, so this, what I have here, this is considered a pretty thick lube. Um, theoretically, you should not need to re-lube your switches if you lube your switches right using this lube. Um, so yeah. But if you if you ever need your switches re-lubed, Beast Troll, just hit me up. I'll, I'll lube it for you. I don't I don't really lube switches for people anymore, but you're a VIP Beast Troll. I see Kissney, where did I source this from? Oh, this is from Krullbit. This is from Mr. Krullbit himself, I see Kitsune. Um, but yeah, uh, the, theoretically, if you lube your switches right, you shouldn't need to re-lube them. Uh, anything 50 gram plus is pretty heavy for Osu. Ooh. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure you'll hate playing Osu with Zelios V2s. But I, I think you said you wanted it for general typing, so yeah. I'm curious to see what you, your take on it is. Um, it should be different from uh, any of the switches you have tried so far. 
Where can you pick that board up? Um, this board? You can probably pick this board up on eBay. Just type in Beam Spring or Display Rider uh, 5251, 3278. The market price for this is probably around $1,500. Um, I have not been keeping it up. I have not been keeping up with the price. Uh, one sold for $1,300 on eBay last weekend. Okay. So yeah, I, I would say if anything. <laughs> Monka S. Uh, for this vintage beam spring, just vintage beam springs in general, I say if you could find it for under 1500 in today's day and age, it is a steal. There is a restored one for 1500 I just found. Yeah, I mean, they, they've been going up. They weren't always this price. They've been going up because, I mean, it's a super vintage board. They're not coming back. Um, and there's just less of them that exist in the world as the years go on, so yeah. What is the faster switches for gaming? What does that mean? Door knock? Uh, Louis Fourteenth. thank you so much for the follow. Oh, it's not a door knock. I think my housemate is cooking. <laughs> But yeah, Beam Spring, this was one of my grails to obtain. I've got one. Oh, if you're looking for new rubber bump bonds for your Beam Spring, I found they're essentially uh, bump bonds, like for the bottom. Uh, my bump bonds look pretty, pretty solid, I think. I don't think I need to replace the bump bonds, but yeah. I will need all the help I can get. A uh, list of options. There, are, there is no such thing as a gaming switch. That's just marketing. Um, I, I, I heard your rant on that beast troll, and I, I agree with you. I, I don't think. Um, mm, I mean, it depends on the game. I feel like, but. Yeah, like, I, I don't think one switch would improve. How do I, how do I word this correctly? Like, I think for like high, fast APM kind of games, um, like Osu or like StarCraft, um, where you're just constantly spamming keys. I, I feel like a linear switch would help you perform better in terms of just spamming over like a tactile switch but yeah i mean it, it is preference like it, your your typing style affects it how hard you type um but yeah I, I do think just because you own a linear switch doesn't mean you're gonna spam faster or just because you own a tactile switch you're gonna spam slower um it's, it's just all preference um i i, I would recommend you guys check out my interview with uh, Jay Yoon. He is a top North American competitive uh, StarCraft remastered player. And yeah, I, I asked him, do you think keyboards make you a, do you think custom mechanical keyboards make you a better uh, gamer? And he said no. He said, it, he said, well, he said yes and no. He said it doesn't, uh, it doesn't make you a better gamer in the sense that what you own makes you perform better but he enjoys gaming more because he has a keyboard that he built um, that's tailored to his needs so it's psychologically it might make him perform better because he's enjoying that time more um, so yeah and i think that's a good answer I, I i do think you know keyboards don't make you better but if it can help you enhance your experience of gaming because you like what you're touching <laughs> Um, you know, it, it might help you psychologically perform better, but yeah. I fat fingered too many alts in Overwatch with Topra. Uh, oh yeah, when it comes to laying down as many APM as possible, then linear switches would sound better. But preference dominates over this by far because tactility can improve stability and consistency. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it, I, it honestly varies from person to person. Um, and like, there's like speed switches 
that's that's BS. <laughs> speed switches are actually terrible. You should not use speed switches at all. <laughs> um, I I wonder if like people who genuinely enjoy speed switches, like I I wonder if there's anyone who like genuinely likes speed switches. And like if they do, like have they tried other switches to realize that speed switches are not that great. But yeah, I mean speed switches in general as a, at least from a mechanical keyboard like community standpoint, no one really uses speed switches. It's mostly like the uninformed gamers who use speed switches. Yeah, I mean, even things with like lubing your switch, that's not gonna enhance your gaming at all. I mean, okay, it will enhance your gaming experience, but it will not make you a better gamer. Like just because I lubed my switches doesn't mean, I mean, yes, you might be able to press your switches faster, but you're not gonna see a jump in like APM all of a sudden because you lubed your switches. Um, Yeah, but I mean, it's kind of like, you know, working. Um, the reason why companies provide their employees with like benefits and whatever options they provide is because they want to um, provide their work employees with a, uh, a positive and nice working environment that correlates to um, a better mental health or mental state that hopefully translates to them working better. It's kind of like that with keyboards, like, I think so. Like if you enjoy the game more, I think that just translates to you performing better. But it's not guaranteed. <laughs> it's not guaranteed. Uh, best switches for PUBG. I, I've played PUBG on the PS4 like twice. I don't know, I've never played on yeah, I don't know. But it brings so much satisfaction. Even though most normal human beings can't feel a difference, the satisfaction of doing it yourself makes all the difference. About looting. Wait, what? Yeah, I mean, and there, there might also be like technicalities too. I mean, like games like Osu and Starcraft, like it's a lot more sensitive, you know, to like speed and versus like if you're a, a league player, you don't need to constantly be spamming keys. Or if you do, it's nowhere near as fast as like Starcraft or Osu. So, I mean, there might be small differences here and there, but yeah. Are you gonna try to flip that spacebar on the whale? I'm not sure. Can you flip spacebars on a whale? I'm not sure. Beast troll question marks? What are you confused? Did I see something wrong? <laughs> Uh, Teal Tracks, hello. What do you think about typing on a Model F all day? I kind of want to buy a Model F replica but on the fence. Uh, I personally really like Buckling Springs. I do. I would say get a Model F if you can. A Model F feels better than a Model M. But if layout is important for you, maybe Model M might be the way to go. Uh, what would you do to a stock Topra because I just got a new one myself. I would say lube it. Lubing Topra shines greatly when you lube it. Oh no, when they said that lubing the keys yourself makes a great experience. Oh, uh, yeah, that's another thing. So some people, I guess they take pride in the fact that they built their own product. I mean, that's kind of understandable. Like. Like you built it yourself, you put in the time, 
So some people value that a lot, you know, the experience of doing it all yourself versus like sending it to someone like me who will build it for them. It doesn't have that personal connection. I personally <laughs> don't care about that. Like if, let's say I'm like modding a car or something and if I have a friend who's better at it than me, I will most likely, I will just give him my money and say, here, mod this car for me. But yeah, I mean, some people care about that. I need to rebuy an HHKB for myself eventually. I think it's, yeah, you should. I don't know if Topra's gonna, I don't know if Fujitsu is gonna make a HHKB V2 or something, but it might get the real force treatment, who knows. What about silencing Topras? Uh, silencing Topra, I think is not as necessary. Like I think lubing it already deadens the noise a lot. Okay, I could do a comparison for you. So this is a Pro 1, it's not lubed, but it is silenced. I'm gonna put it one Huey. Oh, I should turn off my music. Whoops, not show browser. It's one Huey away. So this is just silenced, not lubed. This, this HHKB uh, is lubed and is silenced. Oh, I'm just kidding, there is a difference. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess I guess you could silence it if you want. Um, I don't know, I might consider just not, I might consider desilencing my Topra boards. I feel like I might like the sound of it unsilenced more than silenced. But yeah, lubing it alone uh, deadens the noise a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I, I take that back. Silencing it does make a difference. What kind of lube would you use? Uh, I would say 3204 is a pretty good lube. Uh, this board was lubed with 3204. I think it's the perfect lube for Topra. You can go, I, I wouldn't say use 205. 205 grade zero might be a little bit too thick. Uh, I think Topra shines with like medium thickness lube. Something not too light, but not too thick either. Topra for Osu. Yeah, that'd be curious. Like, I mean, I used to game, I game, I played League and CSGO and StarCraft with Topra. I mean, I was nowhere near Beast Trolls level of prestige, but I, I ranked okay using Topra. <laughs> but granted, those games aren't as uh, sensitive to like rhythm and that kind of stuff. Lubing Topra makes a super nice and thocky, remove some of that plastic sound. Yeah, I agree. I agree. 3 4 is the best loop for everything IMH. Oh, comparison right there was worth watching the whole stream. <laughs> Uh, this is a bit off topic, but for the Yawk Pandas, I've heard the springs aren't too nice. Would you agree? If so, would swapping in the Halo Springs be nice? Uh, Raw Cabbage 13, thank you so much for the follow. Um, the stock springs aren't nice in the sense that their sound is terrible. They sound terrible. Uh, Feel-wise, I think they're fine. But sound-wise, it's pretty bad, so... Um, in general, I would recommend not using stock springs at all i if it's a personal build i will always replace it with aftermarket springs no need for as much precision hmm. what's the website you use for type testing i use 10 fast fingers there is specific lube for each kind of switch google asks um mm. There's not a specific lube for each kind of switch. Lubing is at the end of the, I mean, a lot of the things is preference, um, but like there are, there are combos that are general, generally uh, unanimously agreed upon by the community. Um, yeah, but like some switches 
do feel better with a thinner versus a thicker lube. Um, some people, like, there are certain combos that people like um, in general. That pillow doesn't look comfortable. <laughs> If you get the slots, you should make a multi-panel emote like this, <laughs> except have a safe preference. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. Man, Beast Troll flexing on me that he's partnered, but I'm not. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm still waiting to hear back. It's been it's been 11 business days now. I haven't heard back still. I'm hoping I can get it. I, I have been... So, I applied. Do I have to maintain the numbers? until I hear back from them. I didn't stream this weekend because of President's Day and Valentine's. So I've dipped in one of the categories. Like you're supposed to have streamed 12 out of 25 days. I'm at nine out of 12 now. So I hope that doesn't <laughs> ruin my chances. I hope they take into consideration it was a long weekend with a holiday, national holiday, so. Yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna try to make up for it. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I, I've, I have been pulling in the view numbers as well as the hour numbers. It's just the, uh, the, uh, the quantity of days. Come on. Uh, do real... Uh, Toonby, thank you so much for the follow. Do, Re, and Loom. I saw in one of your videos you lined an HHKB with Sorbethane. How much of an effect does that have? Um, so Sorbethane, uh, it depends on the build. So I, I did line this build forward with Sorbethane. I don't think it made much of a difference. Uh, that, it's case dependent. Depending on how much empty space your case has, Sorbethane, or just filling it up in general, can, it has varying effects. Like if I filled this board up with um, like a shelf liner or sort of thing, it would have it would change the sound greatly, just because there's tons of empty space and room in here for sound to echo and travel in. So yeah, it, it just varies on the case. Is the parts wiki relevant still? If I'm looking at what springs and where to get them, what parts wiki are you talking about? The one on RMK? I'm not sure. But if you are looking for springs, I would recommend uh, switchmod.net. But the giveaway stream was banging. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I mean, I, I have been pulling in numbers, but I think Twitch does care a lot about how frequently you stream. So we'll see. Gogol, in your opinion, M60 Haze with GMK Bento is an okay color color. Which one is Haze? Is that the gray one? Oh, we have base DLX in chat. Yo, glad to see the display writer get to you safely. Yeah, I, I uh, showed it off on stream today. Feels nice, feels nice. I am excited to get this thing restored and working. Red winged blackbird. If you get partnered, I can finally watch in glorious 360p. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the biggest reason why I want to hit partner because one, it allows for my viewers to choose their viewing options. I know that's a big deterrent for a lot of people who watch me because they're just forced to watch at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Um, and the emotes. Like, I, I don't plan on running ads. Most of the nice, most of the like streamers that I enjoy watching don't run ads. Um, and I, I plan on doing the same thing. I don't plan on running my own ads at least. So yeah, I, I mostly want to get partner for you guys. And I, I think just being a partner uh, is attractive for newcomers as well. So yeah, we'll see. Where'd you get the sweater? This is from Kith. Who was texting me?
Wait, really? You need to be a partner to choose lower quality. Um, so Twitch prioritizes streams from partners um, as an affiliate, depending on how loaded, um, depending on how loaded Twitch's servers are for streaming. Um, as an affiliate, sometimes my streams there is, there is no option to choose a lower quality. So yeah, like if let's say I'm streaming on a day where a lot of people are streaming, you most likely will be forced to watch my stream at uh, the source that the source settings that I'm outputting at. But as a partner, you get priority. Your your streams get prioritized, so you get to choose your streaming options. Who needs ads when you have sponsors? Uh, I doubt any partner streamers runs extra ads other than some of the very end for the people who want to support the channel. Take advantage of the viewers who are asleep and make them watch an ad. Yeah, partners get guaranteed transcoding, non-partners only get it when there is low ingest. Yeah, so I mean that's the big thing. I, I know a lot of people have told me they, they just can't watch my streams because at the time that I stream, they're either on mobile or at a place with bad connection and it's just physically impossible for them to watch my streams. So yeah, that is the biggest advantage I'm looking for. Okay. Well, that is the end of today's stream. Is there anyone I can raid today? Ooh, we can actually raid Jay Yoon. Let's go raid Jayun guys. If you guys don't know Jayun, he is a good friend of mine. I did I interviewed him on his mechanical keyboards journey. Um, he's actually, yeah, he he is a mechanical keyboard enthusiast himself. So yeah, let's see, go see what he is doing. Um, I might stream tomorrow as well. We'll see. Um, I will definitely be streaming Friday, maybe not Saturday, and hopefully Sunday. <sighs> ah, the StarCraft fellow, yes. Uh, TY Nathan, thanks for the stream. Yeah, Jayun's a pretty cool guy. He is also a Zeal affiliate, if you guys didn't know. Hope you enjoy the Beamer. I, I really do enjoy this Beamer. All right, we are going to go raid Jayun. So uh, I will release my stream schedule on my Discord as well as in my Instagram. That's where I have been posting my stream stream schedules. So if you guys want to know, I, I I don't have a set schedule yet because I'm trying to hit partner. <laughs> I've just been streaming like a madman to make partner. But assuming I get partner, I should have a more uh, established schedule. Phantasm64, thank you so much for the follow. All right, the raid's gonna happen in three seconds, so I will see you guys all next time.